Many creators face a common challenge when maintaining character consistency across multiple scenes, spending a lot of time on repetitive image generations. For example, creating a YouTube AI shorts video that needs consistent characters across different scenes, or even creating a children's storybook, it can take a lot of time to create visually consistent characters in your work. While image generation tool like ChatGPT can help you create consistent characters, a lot of the times it loses context when you create more characters, and it can take a lot of repetitive image generations to get the character consistently right. That's why I'm going to introduce you to Design, who is sponsor of today's video. Design takes a fundamentally different approach with this consistent character feature. Once a character is created and saved to the library, it can be reused across unlimited projects while maintaining its distinct visual identity. Design preserves the character's core features while adapting to new poses and scenes. You can even use the AI video feature to convert your image to video using a lot of different video models like Kling AI and Minimax. Let's go to design and test some different features. On their main page, we can kind of see a variety of different features that they offer, like the editing capabilities and much more. I'm just going to sign in using my Google account. Once you get into the dashboard, you're going to see all the important features displayed on the left side of the panel, including the text to image, image to image, and even an AI editor and video tools. You can choose from a lot of different styles from the list, and they're constantly working to add new trending styles to the selections as well. And you can also search the styles by the category as well. How about we try Flux as one of the image models to test? I always have trouble coming up with a good prompt for a character, so I'm going to ask Claude to generate one for me. I'm going to copy the prompt, and here is the result. We have freckles on the face, warm smile, and forest green blazer over a cream-colored blouse, and as expected by Flux, it created a great portrait image. Let's also try another style from the list. I'm going to try this Design 3D Render version 2 model, which is a new style that they recently released, and I'm going to use the same prompt to generate a new character in this style. And here is the result. We have the same character prompt, but with a different style. I also tried the anime style which worked really well as well. But what if you like the image generated and you want to keep the same structure of the image but with different style? If you want to do this, you can use their image to image feature. You can just simply choose the style that you want and design should already give you the prompt associated with the original image. And you can also change the style intensity and structure match to control how much flexibility you can give the tool in terms of output and click generate once you're done. And this is the result that I have in different styles. Well, up to these points, these are all the basic features that we can all do locally and in any other image generation AI tools. But what separates design from other AI image generation tools is this character features where you can build a character that you want and use it freely across different scenes and images. If you click on the character section on the left and click the manage your character button, there are some pre-built characters that you can use right out of the box. For example, I'm going to try generating an image of this cat girl that they have for us in the library. The same way that you do text to image generation above, we can put in the prompt in this section. I'm just going to put something like cat girl climbing up a tree. And here is the result. But what's the fun in generating these pre-built characters if you can't make your own? So I'm going to try building my own character. I'm going to start with the character description. I want to make my own anime girl, so I'm going to use this system prompt that I have for Claude to ask to generate a prompt for me to input into design to create a new character for me. In order to create a good character, it's always important to describe explicit character features like physical attributes, outfits, and accessories. So I'm going to ask Claude to be specific on these features. I've also put the system prompt in the description so you can use it for any language model of your choice. You just need to swap out these model names and put the LLM that you're using, like ChatGPT. Now I'm going to use this prompt that Claude generated for me. And as a result, I got a character called Yuki with its appearance and character description. I'm going to copy some of the important features of the characters that I like, such as the hair, body types, eyes, and facial features. I'm going to copy some of the important features and put it in the description in the box. Well, I like the character generated, but I wanted to change the outfit. So I'm going to regenerate with a different outfit. Now I'm going to click the style that I want and generate the character. This part doesn't take much time. And here's the character that we have. Design will give you two different options to choose from. I like the outfit of the character of the first image, so I'm going to choose this one for the training. 
After that, I just need to click start training and wait for about 10 to 20 minutes for design to train the character for us to use and the training has completed and our character is ready. I'm going to click the use this consistent character button. Now I'm going to try some text to image generation using the character. I'm going to say Yuki is walking down the Tokyo street. It's always good to specify the name of your character in the prompt as a keyword so that the model can pick it up. And here's the result. We got two different results here and both of them match our character. It also accurately depicts our character's appearance, like the blue eyes, hairstyle, and even the outfits, including the shoes, which is really nice. After using these features, I wanted to create my own short story book for kids. So I wanted to generate a character in Pixar style. So I'm going to ask Claude to generate another character for my storybook. And with the help of Claude, I created a character named Lucas, who is a 10 year old boy with a red hooded sweatshirt and cargo pants. He has an average height for his age, which is 135 centimeter with black hair. And I'm going to train the character and wait for about 10 to 20 minutes. Once I was done creating the character, I saved it to the library and asked Claude to generate six different scenes of a story. And each scene must be able to be generated with text to image generation. And Claude gave me a prompt so that I can use to create six distinct scenes featuring a boy named Lucas as a sole character and each scene must be described for a text to image generation. And with the help of these prompts, I was able to create a very short story of Lucas discovering an Asian artifact that leads him through a storm to a mysterious cave where he retrieves a powerful glowing crystal. He returns home with the treasure hanging around his neck. Obviously, you can do a lot better with more interesting stories, but you can see how using these consistent characters, it's so easy to create a short story like this. If you don't like one of the images that was generated, there's also an AI editor feature where you can easily fix up details and errors that were left out. Now the question is, what if you want multiple consistent characters in your image? With this, Design has a feature called Insert Character. You can insert any character that you created in the library in any scenes and images. For this example, I created another character called Olivia. She has a similar height as Lucas and is nine year old and has blonde hair. After training this character, I created a three different text to images with Lucas and another girl in different scenes and poses. For example, I can replace this girl with Olivia that we trained using the insert character feature. We double click the image to put this on canvas and click insert character and you should be able to inpaint over the area where you want the new character to be. I find the lasso tool to be the easiest when I want to mark an area for editing. I want Olivia to be slightly bigger than the original girl, so I made the area a a little bit bigger than the original girl. You can also use the brush tool and the auto tool to automatically select the object that you want to inpaint over. In the character action and scene, we want to describe the character's action and direction so that the model can more accurately create better result. And here's the result of the insert character. You can see that the tool did a very good job placing Olivia in the right direction. The character is consistent and the scene looks very natural. Here is another example of insert character where I place Olivia in a different pose. And the tool here also did a very good job putting it in a natural position. It even does an incredible job at accurately placing the character in the back view. Now, what if you want to build a consistent character, but you already have the images for it? For this, you can use the start with images to build your character. I can just put in the character name and put in a couple of images of the same character. I use Photopia to create individual images by cropping out the individual character from the character sheet. And I uploaded these reference images to be trained as a consistent character. And after the training completed, I use them for the text to image generations. And I see that the tool captured the original character really well. The hair, the facial features, and the outfit all match the original character. And with this feature, you can train any characters in any style, even with real life photo of you. And to enhance the result even more, we can use the image to video feature. There's a lot of video models that you can choose from, including Kling 1.6, Minimax, and even 1 2.1. I'm going to try Kling 1.6 Pro to see what the result is like. As a prompt, I'm going to add Jason is rock climbing and click generate and you'll have a different credits for video generation and text to image generations. And here is the result. And you can see that Kling did an amazing job at animating the body movements and the facial expressions as well. 
I'm a little bit amazed at how they are able to animate the leg movement here. And here is another result from 1 to 0.1. The quality does drop, but it uses the least amount of credit and is the cheapest way to generate videos here. After testing out the design platform, it really does make it easy to create your own characters and generate images with them using different styles. It's great that you can keep building your custom characters and keep it for later usage, which is perfect for making stories or other creative projects. If you want to try it yourself, you can use the link in the description. As always, I'm going to keep on the lookout for more AI contents and tools, so feel free to subscribe for more AI news. Thanks for watching.